Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Update, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. Pope Francis traveled to the city of Asti on Saturday to celebrate the 90th birthday of his second cousin Carla Ravazzana with his Italian relatives. The 85-year-old Pope also made a brief stop at the chapel of St. Mary of the Angels, where his grandparents used to pray. The Holy Father spent the night in Asti and celebrated Mass at the Cathedral for the Solemnity of Christ the King, where he said that Jesus, through his death on the cross, opened his arms to embrace all people and everything about them, including their death, pain, and weakness. Pope Francis appointed a 38-year-old husband and father of two as a new secretary for the, for the Castry of Lady, Family, and Life. Gleison de Paula Souza from Brazil teaches religion at a secondary school in the Puglia region, the heel of Italy. The newly appointed secretary of the dicastery was a member of the Euronian religious family between 1005 and 2016. Pope Francis met with Mar Awa III, the head of the Assyrian Church of the East, on Saturday morning. This church is an Eastern Christian church with historic roots and disputes in over ecumenical councils of Ephesus and Chalcedon. The Holy Father urged the members of the two churches to pray and work diligently in preparation for the much-awaited day when all are united fully. In particular, he thanked Mar Allah for his desire to find a common date for Easter, ensuring the Catholicos Patriarch that the Catholic Church is ready to accept any proposal that is made together. After the Holy Mass presided at the Cathedral of Asti, Pope Francis addressed a few words to teenagers and young adults for the diocesan celebration of World Youth Day before praying the Angelus. The Holy Father urged that the young people of the world need to be truly transgressors, not conformists who are slaves to their mobile phones, but who change the world like Mary, bringing Jesus to others, taking care of others, building fraternal communities with others, and realizing dreams of peace. Anthony Johnson for EWTN Vatican.